While that's going on in Tennessee, here on Delmarva, many are mourning tonight because of a special connection to the pilot who died in that crash. A, spe a special connection he had to our area. One of those people mourning is 47 ABC's Emily Lampa. She was one of three lucky uh, folks who flew with the pilot last year leading up to the Ocean City Air Show. Emily, as I said, I was not in the newsroom when, that, uh, when his identity was released, but I know that had to be hard news to hear. David, it, it definitely was. I mean, when we found out about that jet crash earlier this afternoon and then the identity of the man behind the controls, it was shocking, painful, and just hard to believe. Now, I flew with U.S. Marine Corps Captain Jeff Koos last year for a preview story for the air show, which was the first time that the U.S. Navy Blue Angels performed here locally. We spent just about an hour in the air together that day last June. Might not seem like a long time, but I learned a lot about him, and we shot a lot of video. Much of it never even made it to air, but it shows that he was kind, charismatic, patient, and just really good at his job. Here's some of that behind the scenes video. It's the best part of my job for sure. It's so fun to be able to share that experience and, and give them a taste, a small taste of you know, what it means to be in the Navy and Marine Corps. And, and we just try to emulate the flight demonstration a little bit. This was an interview I did with U.S. Marine Corps Captain Jeff Coos in June 2015 after he took me up in the air over Ocean City doing tricks and spins that left me breathless and admittedly sometimes sick. But he was a calm voice in my ear the whole time. All right, that was a tough <laughs> one, huh? Oh my God. Well, you crushed it, though. I'm gonna have really good video. Yeah, <laughs> and you're a good sport all the way through. And yeah. you know what? It's a blast. You're, you're not, you don't get to do this very often. Yeah, an experience no one else can really talk about. That's for sure. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for being so much fun to fly with. <laughs> you have. 50 minutes of F-18 Hornet time now. That's awesome. But it was my interview with Captain Coos in the cockpit before we even got off the ground that day where I found out how funny and down-to-earth he was, starting with his call sign. What is it? Mine is Cooch. Cooch. Cooch, yep. My last name is Coos, and so they, just call me they call me Coochie, Coochie Coos, and then nice. just Cooch. Nice. He explained that flying is what he loved his dream career. I've always wanted to fly my whole life and so to be in an establishment like this one that's so prestigious yet, you know, grounded in its its roots is, is very cool. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I joined the team last September, so awesome. Yeah, pretty pretty fresh at it still. What did, what did you do before this? Um, I was You're like I was an accountant. Yeah, I was an accountant <laughs> and they were just like, Hey Jeff, you wanna go fly? And they uh, no I uh I was in a uh, an aircraft carrier squadron, a marine squadron out of Beaufort, South Carolina, who nice, okay. did you know the whole Afghanistan support stuff and um, nice. Thank you for your service. Flew on the ship and oh yeah, it's an, like I said, it's an absolute honor. What a great country we live in. It's so cool to be able to work for it, you know. Yeah, agreed. Absolutely love it. We got to talking about family, a happy topic of conversation, which now one year later is difficult to hear. I have a three and a half year old son, little blonde maniac, and then I have a five month old daughter who's. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, thanks. Just so this is crazy time for you. It is, yeah, yep. It's that's definitely the hardest part of the job is yeah. being away from home, being I away from them. A hundred percent feel you right yeah, now. Yeah, yep. And of course, our thoughts and deepest condolences do go out to his wife and his two children. Captain Coos, like much of the Blue Angels team, lived in Pensacola, Florida where the team is based. Now, if you attended last year's air show, you might recognize his voice, and that's because he was also the narrator for the Blue Angels during their performance. Now, earlier tonight, we also reached out to Kathy Bassett, who represents the Ocean City Air Show, and she set up the ride-along with Captain Coos, and she also expressed her condolences as well, saying, quote, my heart is aching for the family of this fallen Blue Angel. He was a true American hero, end quote. And this is a sentiment I think all of us here at 47 ABC can agree with wholeheartedly. David? No doubt about it. Thank you very much, Emily, for that touching and very personal report. Uh, 47 ABC's Emily Lampa reporting in the studio with us tonight.